Hey, it's good uh, for a quick demonstration about the uh, the way to create a cool patch. Uh, so some sine wave sine wave kind of sample here. You can see it. And uh, I think that uh, with this kind of chords in the background, I will be able to really see. Um, really test uh, this uh, patch. I want to make a pad. Okay, so the problem is that sine wave for pads is not good. So I'm going to replace everything by uh, samples. So I've got samples here. So I will um, select, for example, uh, square samples and I will select the square sample. For example, I will select uh, <coughs> don't know me. Uh, got a lot of examples, so let's try and buy me luck like this one. This one. Um, maybe another kind of sample. For example, sample so. And for example, let's try by buy me like this this one. Maybe. Oh yes, I, I I like that kind of wave. It reminds me of uh, a cool software I've seen in the last days. This one too. Okay. So if I want to make a pad, I need to duplicate first this. This one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, maybe this last ones I will need to duplicate them also. I also need to make the uh, not off because it would be better. Uh, no need to uh, use auto sick. And if I'm starting to play it, probably it will be awful because of the all the volume of the samples. Oh. Okay, don't so I don't play it, but I will change. For example, first of all the octave of all the samples a bit better but always awful in terms of volume so now I'm going to change the volume of everything in just one pass I need to go to the modulation I create first modulation uh, and I create for example um, um, an appearance for the volume and the volume must be divided by so that if I quickly count in my head It's a bit uh, better. So uh, I selected volume and then op operand. Volume operand, so it applies to every sample here. And then I will say, for example, uh, ADS, HDSR. Let's try. Oh, too, too quick here. Yeah. So I need to raise the attack. going to fine-tune all the tunes so um, I need for example distribute uh, the things like that for example uh, fine-tune this uh, going to make exceptionally two here and uh, try to see what it gives like that oh yeah. not bad a low pass filter maybe yeah better low pass filter cut off and uh, no parent too better okay 
I also need to change the pitch later on maybe so I will select the operon for the pitch uh, pitch oh it's too too heavy with the pitch range it will be better ah better but I won't touch it for now I will create a second layer of modulation here and I will copy the first layer of modulation and paste it there ok uh, in the second layer of modulation I will just modify the pitch operand here and slightly increase it slightly to select first my second set of modulated files here in the pitch yeah yeah ooh yeah. kind of better the tuning it's like a detuner we'll call it like that it will be better now let's select the effects create a chain, a nice chain for example with the chorus, a chorus with the better, with the hundred, mm, mm, like that, let it like that. Also, something like uh, I need a reverb for that kind of pad, so the MP reverb will make my day. Uh, Calvin Warm, I need for example um, delay, simple delay, simple delay with uh, two, two line syncs, for example. In something subtle like that um, okay and the uh, stereophonic is not that my cup of tea stereo expander and stereo total yeah and, and this device chain copy uh, paste I'm going to change a bit the I just have to save my cool patch for example let's call it cool patch pen I've already prepared the name here and let's uh, save it as an instrument and it's done I've got my cool patch pad and this fantastic chords in the background with these chords you know that uh, you've got uh, a cool patch you see it Okay, it, it took me one hour, uh, I think not.